Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. And if you're new here, well that's exactly what I do do. Now today I'm reviewing a USB microphone. I'm actually feeding the microphone from, well, from the microphone into my Mac uh, Mini, M1 Mac Mini, and I'm recording onto Amadeus, just so you know. And then what I'll do, I'll post sync that audio, uh, uh, I, you know, when I come to edit it. So hopefully the audio that you're listening to will be the audio coming from this new microphone that's been sent to me for a review. It's been sent to me by a company called Fronmax. I really like their products. I reviewed recently their Fronmax Space Microphone wireless microphone. I've actually still got it connected to me here. That's going into my uh, Sony A6600. Um, that's a great, great wireless microphone. I'll leave a link to it up here. No, it's up here, isn't it? A link to it up here somewhere. And there'll be more information where you can find out more information about that wireless microphone. But if you're into gaming and podcasting, you may well find a USB microphone is going to be much more up your street because you can plug it straight into your computer. You don't need any drivers for Windows or PC. Now, I've plugged this, as I say, straight into my uh, Mac Mini without any drivers, and it works straight away. Uh, there's a gain control on the back of a microphone. On the back here, you've got a gain control. I'm not going to muck around with that. Uh, and you've also got a headphone volume control on the back of the microphone as well here. So you've got your two controls on the back there. Um, and it's got this lovely RGB light. I really like this particular light. I know it's only a cosmetic feature as opposed to a functional feature, but I just think if you are filming your podcasts, isn't it nice to have a microphone with a little bit of colour, a little bit of character to it? Um, and as long as the sound quality is great. Now, I've done some audio recording with this microphone, and the sound quality is great. I'm not an audiophile. I'm not an expert on audio. So I'll leave a link to where you can find more information information about this microphone so you can get information about its you know bandwidth and all that kind of malarkey I'm not an expert on that I go by what I hear same with cameras I go by how the lens looks and how the camera performs as opposed to spec sheets if I like it I buy it. If I don't like it, I don't buy it or I don't use it. I like this microphone. It works great. They supply two USB leads with the microphone, so you've got a USB-C to C. That's great for most modern computers, certainly the MacBook Pro range of uh, computers. Um, also, they supply a very long USB-C to standard USB, USB-A port uh, lead. And I think that's great. And that's what I'm running at the moment because uh, it's a longer lead. So I'm running a USB lead of a they've supplied out of a microphone into the uh, Mac Mini. And as I said, I'm recording on to Amadeus. Um, I'm finding it's working great. I don't think I would use it as a microphone for doing my reviews normally because of the way I have to set it up. No other reason than that, purely because I, I like the flexibility of using the Fron Max Space microphone because no matter where I move, uh, the sound goes with me. These microphones are designed for like gamers that are talking straight into a microphone, podcasters that are talk talking into the microphone, voiceover artists that are doing voiceovers. Um, and I find, you know, it's great for that sort of thing. Not flexible really for what I do, but when I am doing voiceovers, I would probably use this microphone because it's just plug and play. You don't need mixers like my Rodecaster Pro 2. You don't need all the ancillary equip equipment. All you need is the microphone and the computer. And it's a really high resolution microphone. It goes up to 96 hertz. So the frequency range is fantastic on this microphone. And as I say, I really love these colored displays. Now I've got it set to blue at the moment, but you can push a button on the back here, uh, find the right button, uh, where are we? Push that and you can dim that. It's a slightly different color. Now the noise is gonna, it's gonna affect the noise unfortunately. So, um, cause I'm touching the mic, but um, you got green now. Uh, you can just go through a whole range of different colors. A nice red, uh, isn't that rather attractive? So you can set up the color scheme according to where you're using the microphone. So um, I really like that. It's nice. It's a nice touch. Um, also, you can see here on the front of a display, it's got the um, 
a level control so you can see what the level is doing this microphone has four pickup patterns which is fantastic so you can set it according to the environment that you're in or what you're actually recording now for this sort of purpose i would normally use the cardio pattern i had it set earlier to uh, stereo i've actually now got it set to cardio i won't go through them all because it'll affect the actual uh, filming but you can set bi-directional omnidirectional stereo and cardioid and i think that is great for a microphone certainly at this price point and uh, of this quality it's great and so i love the lighting it's really beautiful so uh, great for as i say if you're filming now on the back or on the bottom of the unit because i've got it up mounted upside down on the bracket that it came with it also comes with uh, the stand which is fantastic good heavy duty stand uh, so you'll have no problem it's actually really weighty so you'll have no problem with using that um on the bottom of the unit you've got your usb-c out but you've also got your headphone jack out so you've got an audio out which is great so you can monitor the audio directly by plugging it into the microphone if you need to i've got my headphones actually plugged into my roadcaster pro i'm not using that i'm just uh, working on the assumption that the audio is going to be great because i trust the microphone um so yeah great great microphone nicely made really really well constructed uh, it come with the case um, and a set of instructions which is handy um, I say the fact that it's plug and play you don't really need the instructions um, and it's got you know it's all touch control so you can touch these buttons to go through the different settings and you can see the audio settings uh, and the audio is actually coming through into the microphone which I think is uh, wonderful that's really really nice touch and I say on the back you've got your gain control and your headphone control um, comes with this case which is really nice um, nice solid case if you are moving around and uh, doing traveling with it, it comes you know you can carry the carry it uh, really good um, nice inside I mean, it's not you know um, it, it's not awesome but it's got a case but it's nice but they have supplied a case so you can put all your leads in the top there which is really handy um, uh, you know great so there we go that's the Fron Max M Drill Ghost RGB microphone I really like the microphone I would like to thank Fron Max for sending me the microphone for review I really really appreciate that and I said there will be links in the description where you can purchase a microphone from and get more information now if you can hear a buzz which I don't know if you will be able to hear a buzz that's nothing to do with a microphone that's the environment that I'm using the microphone in I'm not using it in a soundproofed room it's a converted jewelry shop basically um, so there's no uh, special soundproofing done in this room and the microphone is located right close to my roadcaster pro 2 and the computer but as i say the fact that they've supplied the long usb lead you can move it further away from the uh, computer i haven't been able to do that in here for various reasons but i've just not been able to do that so if you do hear a buzz i do apologize that's not the microphone that is basically um the uh, fact that it's too close to the computer but uh, let me stop talking just for a second so you can hear what the noise level is like when there's no uh, you know voice being recorded So you can probably hear there the hum from the computer and also the clock ticking. So I think you'll find it's quite a sensitive microphone. But the fact it's got a wide range of features as far as the pickup pattern, I think that is also great. Stereo is really handy because if there is two of you talking, you can set it to stereo and you'll get great audio that way as well. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos relating to video photography, podcasting, audio, so on and so forth. Cheers for now. Bye.